A troubling internet video of a gang-like street fight has residents of a maritime community worried about what is really happening in their town. From Global Maritimes, the evening news with Alan Rowe. Good evening. We start tonight with a video that has shocked a maritime community. It shows a group of young men beating and kicking another man. The group filmed the attack. Then they put music to it and posted it on the internet. Tonight, one of the men has been charged. Global's Craig Ferguson tracked down some of those connected to the video. Bridgewater police have charged Graham Jared Carr, seen here in the red shirt, with assault causing bodily harm, after police found a video of this fight on the internet. The fight was videoed, set to music, and posted online by one of Carr's friends. They charged one of my friends, and I feel bad about it, but they, they all knew that we were going to put it on. We didn't think no cops were on the website. The fight was last Saturday outside a pizza store in the center of town. We didn't start no gang or anything. We ain't doing nothing wrong. We never, who doesn't get in fights? Everybody got in fights in their days. I mean, it's all that happened. We're not jumping anyone. People came at us, and that's when we fought them. Many people in Bridgewater say the fight and the video is the work of a gang called T.O.B., said to stand for Thugs of Bridgewater. But the man behind the video, who asked we not show his face, says there is no gang. He says the name T.O.B. comes from a rap song. I made a rap video like five years ago, a song that I started, and I just said T.O.B. in it. It stood for Town of Bridgewater. Now, just because a few of us said it, uh, they're escalating it, making it sound like it's this big gang. And he says his friends are not responsible for graffiti around the town. But the idea of a gang in Bridgewater has some residents worried. Well, I hate to think that it is, but I'm not really sure, like, I think there is vandalism and things going on, but I'm not really sure how big of a group or... Police are still searching for the victim of the assault. Bridgewater police declined an on-camera interview, but they told us on the phone they do not believe the TOB is a gang. For Global News in Bridgewater, this is Craig Ferguson reporting.